you talk about the production and the presentation of Zelenis from Aspergillus Niger, these are my group members, we are four in a group. First of all, we have to go to the introduction. What's enzymes? Enzymes, as we know, is produced by all the living organisms, living things, and it's a biological catalyst that alters the rate of a specific chemical reaction by providing an alternative route or pathway to in lowering the or activation energy. And enzyme can be used to produce various products such as cheese. It can be used for production of wine, can be used for bread production, beer, vegan, and extra, a lot of things. So now, focusing on our enzymes of interest called the xylenes. It's a class of enzyme that is produced by microorganisms to break down a component of plant cells known as homocellulose. Now, this xylenes has different types, and these different types are determined by the condition, the condition such as pH level and temperature. Okay? As we go on, the enzyme xylenes destroy the plant structure material by breaking down the formula, the chemical cellulose. Now, there is a, um, there is a polymer in the cell wall. It's a polymer of glucose. It's known as xylene. This xylene function is to hold um, the cell wall intact. Now, what the xylene, um, xylene does is it attacks the xylene, which now hydrolyzes and breaks down the cell wall as we, we knew before. It destroys the plant structures and, and breaks it down. Now, now we talk about the before we talk about the application, what are the cell walls? Cell walls, cell wall, they are the barriers, physical barriers, and are necessary to prevent dehydration, also maintaining the physical integrity. Now we go to the application. Application of enzymes of the xylenes, like xylenes. This can be used as used for baking, enzyme for dot improvement liquor and alcohol industry. In, it can also be used in manufacturing of food juice and beverages. It is also used as feed additive and also contributes in better digestion, which improves the quality of animal litter. Also, it can also be used to increase the nutrient absorbance, absorption and increase the diffusion of pancreatic enzyme in the digestion. Before we get into the offspring, I will call on my, my next group member to continue from the offspring process. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. <coughs> oh, well, I'll be sharing with you the steps of upstream. Uh, for upstream process, I just wrote them on the board for easier view. So make sure you use the asparagus, to, which is obtained from the soil. And uh, since we know that the soil is not clear, you need to screen it, make sure it's pure from all the obstacles that can cause impurity in order to isolate the enzymes. Uh, after the step of screening, make sure you culture in a liquid media and put in the element layer glass. Uh, after you put in the glass, just incubate for six days under 80 degrees Celsius and make sure it is at 180 RPG. Mm, then later after, after the six days, make sure you perform filtration. So when you filtrate, use the word man filter in water in order to collect the supernatant. Uh, this supernatant, don't throw it away, just keep it because we are going to use it for the assay. Okay. So after the upstreaming, now we are going to assay the zelenies.
about the buffer, and the buffer should be the acetate buffer. Uh, incubated positive precautions for 15 minutes. Uh, I tell you your minutes and make sure you don't exceed 15 minutes. And while you are telling, make sure that the shaking while you are incubating, the nutrient being shaken. Okay, and then you use the preconcept dental salic acid as your to, to show out the color when you perform spectral ometer. Okay, after taking your spectrometer, you know that the color will show you that the purification and the color will tell you that you have finally assayed your values and the steps will be over. So I'll call on my next colleague to share with you the other process. So now we'll talk about the gastric processing. So first of all, we'll determine the molecular weight of our main enzyme, which is xalanase. Okay, so we weigh the xalanase too by determining um, with the sodium gel electrophoresis. So in this case, we'll be using an SDS page, uh, as well as a gel filtration, okay? So it will be performed with 10% uh, of polyacrylamide gel, okay? So this fungi will be determined using a microscopic examination based on the colon in the characters. Okay, so we'll be performing the, our molecular weight test using a, a Congo red test. So it will show a positive sign to show that our enzyme is there. Okay, and then it will be planted on an agar plate it will be planted on an agar plate as a pure culture. So we'll be doing this by using an occupation method. Okay. Okay, this is a table. It shows that our xylem has a high enzyme activity as compared to other common sources. Okay, but maltose comes after xylem. And the rest of them, which is maltose, cellulose, sucrose, and dextrose, they do not show any significance of an enzyme activity on the production of xylanase. So the next one is on the nitrogen source. 